Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. So I got up early this morning, got ready, and went to the beach. When I got there, obviously it wasn't early enough because the beach was packed with cars and people. So I turned back around. That's introverted problems. Most of you introvert would understand exactly what I'm talking about. I'll go at another time when it's more laid back, chilled, and less people. So the point of this video is to share a dream that I had with you guys. I've been going back and forth with myself all morning, wondering if I should share it with you. And I decided that, yeah, I should. And maybe it's just fear that's stopping me from doing it. Fear of what I don't know exactly. Before I get into the video, I want to say happy birthday to my grandfather, Austin Aubrey Doyle, a.k.a. Daddy. Today is his birthday. He passed away November 13th, 2014. Two weeks before he passed away, I had a dream that he passed away. That dream felt so real. And thanks to that dream, I was able to be present with him every single day up until um, the day before um, November 12th. I think the day before he passed, uh, we brought him to the airport. I sat with him for an hour before boarding and he got on the plane, passed away less than 24 hours after the last time that I saw him. And this video is about a dream that I woke up from this morning and the dream felt so real that I had to get myself together, get up and go to the beach and kind of cleanse that energy. And I felt the need to share this with you guys. So basically in the dream and with my dreams, like I take my dreams seriously. And that's why like this one shook me up so much. And in the dream, it's like I'm witnessing a party. And at the party, it looks like someone pushed a statue down. It's weird. It's like someone pushed down the statue of Christopher Columbus. And after somebody pushed that statue down, it's like a war broke out between the people. And already at the party, it was like energy was brewing because there was two opposing sides, like people that didn't get along with each other. So someone pushed the statue down and they started like going to war with each other. And I remember in the dream, it's like I'm witnessing like people like being in their homes and looking through the windows worried and afraid um, about whether their loved ones would come back home or not and afraid to leave their homes because it's like there's a war going on and this war was a weird war because you didn't know what side of the war you were on it was hard to tell who your enemies are it's not like wars where you know people are in uniforms where there's a distinct appearance between like the opposing sides and this one you didn't know what side you were on and then in another scene of the dream i'm witnessing you know some girl who's all dressed up and fancy and she has her knife at her waist and it's like even though it's a serious thing it's like she's taking it seriously but it's also a joke to her at the same time so it's like us getting dressed up in gear to go fight but like at the same time we need to get the get our get pictures in for the gram and things like that and I remember in the dream like saying this is the worst birthday ever this is the worst birthday ever like that's something that I kept saying to myself and my birthday is the day before Halloween it's at the end of October so I'm assuming whatever happens this war that breaks out amongst the people over pushing a statue over maybe that statue is symbolic I'm not sure I'm just sharing it with you as it came to me but I remember saying that this is the worst birthday ever and you know so obviously it's around my birthday I called my brother as I, I right after waking up because I wanted to share it with someone who I knew would be up at that time I had my day wrong I thought it was Monday and he would be in the truck driving early um, so he didn't answer and it's interesting because that's the brother that I spoke to when I woke up from the dream that I had the morning about my grandfather passing away, when I had the dream, I didn't think he would pass away. I was just so happy it was a dream and it wasn't real. My brother eventually did call me back this morning and I shared it with him. And he was like, you know, a few days before election. So I didn't think of that because I don't really keep up with that stuff. So anyways, like basically 
that's the dream that I had this morning. Who knows what it means? I just felt the need to share it with you guys. I know what it means in the sense that, okay, so I say that because I don't want to create fear, but I trust my dreams. And this dream felt too real. You know what I'm saying? And with everything happening in the world, I can easily see how something like that could break out. And I guess the moral of the story is, or what I want you guys to walk away from is to basically the importance of keeping your vibration positive. It's like, uh, so much is going on where people are talking about food shortages and possibly natural disasters. And, you know, there's only so much we can do to get prepared, like, you know, stocking up on canned goods and things like that in case if, you know, there is a food shortage and there's no electricity and there is weather issues or whatnot. But I think the most important thing that we can do is to monitor our vibration. It's like, you know how they say your vibe attracts your tribe? I feel like that's the same thing with your circumstances. I remember when I moved here to Florida in 2009, we were in a recession and most people like bought into that idea that they were in a recession, but that was one of the most fruitful times of my life where I was able to make major purchases and make big moves because I didn't put myself in a recession mentality. So this is the time where it's important for you to protect your energy. It's important for you to consume information that's going to keep you vibrating positively, keep you optimistic regardless of whatever is happening. Like, yes, you know, prepare if you can in whatever way you can you know, but at the same time, your vibration is more important because that's what's going to attract situations and people in your life that's going to make, you know, your experience of what's happening totally different from what everyone else is experiencing. So yeah, the moral of the story is to protect your vibration and don't get caught up into, you know, everything that's going on. For me personally, recently, I canceled my Netflix subscription, not because of what's going on with the whole cuties thing, even though I didn't agree with that movie, even though the storyline was good. I felt like they could have um, used actors, actresses who actually look like children instead of children. That was my issue with it. But overall, my canceling my subscription had nothing to do with it. It's just I felt like my higher self wanted me to not be distracted by outside sources like that. Basically, I've bought a bunch of books and I've been busy researching, reading and adding value to myself that way and lifting up my vibration. So I encourage you guys to do the same because if it so happens that there is a blackout, which I sense coming, it's like it won't hit you that hard because you will already have books and you would already be keeping yourself busy doing other things that you also enjoy. So yeah, that's the dream that I had. Um, you know, do whatever you decide to do with that information. Share with me your experiences in the comment box below or whatever you think I would like to hear from you. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.